Hello and welcome to another episode of our Dev Diary series for Way of the Hunter. Today we are going to take a closer look at our in-game locations. Way of the Hunter has two locations, each with 144 km square of playable area. The first is Nespers Valley in the American Pacific Northwest, and the second is Transylvania in Romania, Europe. It was very important to us that when players walk around these locations, they will feel immediately familiar if they had ever visited them in real life. You will quickly notice that the land in Transylvania is a bit more cultivated, with paved roads, small cottages, and centuries-old ruins. In comparison, Nespers Valley will immediately feel harsher and wilder, just like in real life. Both have their different habitats of grassland, swamp, lowland and highland forests, and mountains. These habitats have a distinct flora that's native to their real-life counterpart. But what's more important, they are home to their native animal species. This is not just to make the game feel more authentic and immersive. There is a good gameplay reason why you may want to learn where each of the animal species thrives. Each species in Way of the Hunter has a primary habitat. This means that the animals you find there will have higher average fitness. This should be of interest to you if you want to hunt animals with a high trophy score. Let's take the elk as an example. In the elk's encyclopedia entry, you will find that its primary habitat is highland forest. Yes, you will find elk in lowland forests as well, like for example in Green Acres. But if you are hellbent on finding high-scoring elk, you will have better luck in the highland region of Thorn Springs. That's because herds of elk do better in highlands with more suitable climate and sources of food. Meanwhile, their secondary habitat, lowland forests, has a lower ceiling for their maximum average fitness, resulting in lower trophy score. But the best scoring animals can always be found in private reserves. You have to earn the access to these reserves, but the reward is always worth it. We see you on Discord and various forums trying to figure out how the systems of aging, fitness and trophy score work together. On top of this tidbit, we will prepare a more comprehensive overview of how herd management and Way of the Hunter works in the future, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure you have also already noticed that you need to adapt your playstyle to the habitat you choose to hunt in. Open plains provide a comfortable line of sight while you hide in bushes or tall grass. But enter a forest and you quickly realize that things got a whole lot more difficult. Terrain, and especially foliage, will constantly get in the way of your shot, and you may not even notice an animal until it's too late and it's running away from you. On the other hand, mountainous regions are great if you enjoy glassing and shooting at long range, and I know for a fact that a lot of you enjoy that. Another thing I know you've been having fun with is the photo mode. Maybe too much fun if you use it to track animals, but it's all fair game if you keep sending us your awesome screenshots. The gallery channel on our official Discord is chock full of them, and I think it's about time we held a little screenshot contest, if you're on board. So that's it for the locations in Way of the Hunter, at least until we bring more in future DLC. In the meantime, let us know which parts of the maps you enjoy hiking and hunting in. We'll see you again soon.